everybody. It's Miss Brenda from the Wichita Children's Theater and Dance Center. I have a fun story to share with you today. It's called A Bunny's Noisy Book by Margaret Wise Brown. After I share the story, we'll act it out together. You can do a drama right in your own home. Find a comfortable place to sit in front of your screen and get ready to be good listeners. This is A Bunny's Noisy Book by Margaret Wise Brown. When he first woke up in the morning, he didn't open his eyes. Why should he, that little bunny? He raised his ears without opening his eyes. He heard all the little quiet noises starting in the morning around him. I think I see some things in this picture that might be making noise. I see a little squirrel eating a nut, a bumblebee buzzing, a frog hopping. First, what did Bunny hear? First, nothing. Then, there was a sudden fluttering and chirping. What was that? Birds getting up out of their nests and off the branches and beating their wings. Far off, very far away, he heard a cock, cock, cock-a-doodle-doo. What was that? The little bunny opened his eyes, went up the tunnel to his home and out to sea. Sound came from the world above. The little bunny heard a buzz, buzz. What was that? Yes, it was a bumblebee. Two bumblebees. Look at those bumblebees. They're getting nectar from the lilacs. Then the little bunny started on a big green leaf and began to make a little noise himself. How is that? I think it's delicious. Then, then he stretched. Oh, and what kind of a noise was that? Then he yawned. Ah, and what kind of a noise was that? Then he scratched. And what kind of a noise was that? Then he sneezed. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, choo! And what kind of a noise was that? And then he went hop, hop, hop over to a pink clover that was buzzing with bees. And all day long, he ate pink clover. At the end of the day, the sun went down. But could the little bunny hear that? No. But he could hear the little noises of the night beginning around him. The wind began to blow louder and stronger. Branches snapped. And then there was the old familiar thump as his mother banged her heels on the ground. That meant run for home. The old red fox was taking a stroll. Time for little bunnies to be safe in their hole. And he popped down the rabbit hole just as the fox barked. He wiggled his nose and sniffed the little, a little quick noise of a sniff. How was that? And he jumped into his little bed of leaves, curled in a little fur ball, and tucked his paws under him. Then the little bunny sighed, his little bunny sigh, <sighs> and his ears fell down, and he nodded over, sound asleep in his own warm hole in the big, quiet night. And that is... Bunny's Noisy Book by Margaret Wise Brown. Let's act out the story. In the first few pages, little bunny is sound asleep, but I think that there are lots of creatures that are starting to make noise. Let's to pretend to be some of those creatures together. Let's start with a frog. A frog would be a fun creature. I'm going to set my book down so I can be a frog. Can you pretend to be a frog with me? Let's hop 
And can you make a ribbity noise? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Good job being a frog. Now, how about a bumblebee? Bunny saw a lot of bees buzzing around the clover. Bees have small wings, but they fly very fast. Can you pretend to have small wings and fly very fast? And maybe you can make a buzzing noise. Bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. Good job being a bumblebee. Bunny also had a friend who was a squirrel. Squirrels like to scamper around and find nuts to eat, and they have long, bushy tails. Can you pretend to be a squirrel with me? You can scamper back and forth, and you can find a nut to eat. Pick up your nut, and let's eat our nut. A delicious, tasty acorn together. Good job being a squirrel. Bunny had so many friends. Well, if you were going to be a bunny rabbit, what would you have instead of hands? That's right, you would have paws. So pretend that you have bunny paws. And would you have small ears? No, you'd have long, tall ears, good for hearing noises. Pretend you have big, floppy ears right on top of your head, good. And imagine that you have a cotton tail. You can wiggle your tail. And if you were a bunny rabbit, would you walk? No, you'd hop, wouldn't you? Can you hop? Good job. That's how to move like a bunny rabbit. Well, first, bunny was asleep. Let's pretend we're in our home and you can curl up right on the floor and pretend you're sound asleep. Just like Bunny, I'm gonna curl up with my paws and my long floppy ears. Well, at first, Bunny was sound asleep and the noises of the morning started. What did Bunny hear? At first, not anything. But then Bunny heard some birds chirping and flapping their wings and leaving their nest. Can you open one eye? Open one eye and peek. And then Bunny opened both eyes because he heard a loud cock a doo doo You can say that with me while Bunny hears it. cock a doo doo Bunny perked up both of his ears and decided to go up out of his rabbit hole. Can you climb up out of your rabbit hole? out from under the big fir tree. Hop, hop, hop. Then Bunny heard another sound. Bzzz. What was that? You're right. It was a bee, a bee buzzing along looking for flowers. And then Bunny felt a little hungry. So he hopped over to a nice green leaf and started to nibble it. And that made a sound all of its own. Can you make a nibbling sound with me? The leaf was green and tasty. And then Bunny stretched. Ooh, what kind of a noise was that? And Bunny gave a yawn. And what kind of a noise was that? Bunny hopped over to some clover and spent the day eating pink clovers. At the end of the day, Bunny watched the sun go down. It was big and orange and beautiful. But did it make a sound? No, it was very quiet. But then Bunny listened to the noises of the night. He heard branches cracking and bugs chirping. And then he heard a familiar thump, thump, thump of his mother's foot. Can you make your foot go thump, 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 thump? Good job. Bunny knew it was time to go quickly home back to his 
bunny hole. Can you hop as quick as you can? Hop very quickly all the way back home to your bunny hole. Bunny dove back into the bunny hole. And he wiggled his nose. And he curled up on the floor of his bunny hole in the sand and gave a sigh. <gasps> His ears flopped over and Bunny fell fast asleep. And that is the story of Bunny's Noisy Book. Was that fun to act out being a bunny? Bunnies are a lot of fun, especially in the springtime, bunny characters. Bunny certainly heard a lot of noises, didn't he? I have a listening game that you can play at home with your family. If you want to play this listening game, you'll need to find some containers and they'll need to be some containers that you can't see through. I have some to show you. You might have at your house a sour cream or a cottage cheese containers. These would make good containers for this game. Or I had some plastic Easter eggs at my house. You might have some Easter eggs at your house too right now. What you want to do is you want to find some fun objects that will make a noise and fill the container with those objects. Then you can shake your container and have your family guess what you have inside. They'll have to listen very carefully and try and figure out what is making the sound. Let's see if you can play the game with me. In this blue egg, listen to the sound it makes. What do you think might be making that sound? Do you have a guess? Say it out loud. Okay, let's look and see if we can see what's inside the container. My egg was full of jelly beans. That made a good shaking sound, didn't it? Let's see if you can figure out another one. I have a big red egg. Let's see if we can listen to the sound. That's pretty loud. What do you think could be making that noise? Do you have a guess? Say it out loud. Okay, let's look inside. I put marbles in the red egg. Those made a very noisy sound, didn't they? I have a big purple egg here. Listen and see if you think you could tell me what's making the sound in this egg. That one's pretty noisy too. What do you think? Do you have a guess? Say it out loud. Okay, let's peek inside the purple egg. Money, nickels and dimes and maybe a quarter or two. That made a good sound. I bet you have some of these same things around your house or maybe some different things that would make noise. Do you wanna do one or two more with me? I wonder what's inside this orange egg. Hmm, not quite as loud as the money, is it? Do you have a guess? Say it out loud. All right, let's peek inside the orange egg. Macaroni from macaroni and cheese. That makes a really good sound. I bet you have things all over your house, in your kitchen or maybe some toys in your bedroom. What about my pink egg? Listen really carefully. This might be a softer sound. Wonder what's making that sound. Do you have a guess? Say it out loud. Let's take a peek. Cheerios. They'd be good to eat, maybe with a little milk on top. So this is a great game you could play with your family. See if mom or dad has some containers. You can use eggs like I did, or you can find something else that you can't see through like this sour cream carton. Find some fun objects to put inside and then see if your family can guess what's making the sound. Well, I have one more fun thing for us to do. It's a dance called the bunny hop. Our story today was about a little bunny and well, bunnies 
might like to do a dance called the bunny hop. Would you like to learn a dance with me? Everybody stand up right where you are. Find a good spot on your floor. Now, this dance you can do by yourself or you can do with a family member. So I'll teach it to you. And then if you want to do it with a family member, you make a line. You could have people stand right behind you and you dance the dance in a line. This is how I do the bunny hop. There's a little song that goes with it. You say, right foot first, left foot next, hop like a bunny. One, two, three. Good job. Now, if you want to get a family member to do it with you, I'll do it sideways. And you have your family member stand right behind you. You can even pretend you have paws like a bunny. Okay, here we go. Right foot first, left foot next, hop like a bunny. One, two, three. You go forward on those last three jumps. Do it with me one more time. Here we go. Right foot first, left foot next, hop like a bunny. One, two, three. Great job. Well, it has been lots of fun to share a story and act out the story with you. I hope you have fun playing the game and doing the bunny hop. And I hope that you can come see us at the Wichita Children's Theater and Dance Center. Someday come take a class or see a show. And in the meantime, be sure you tune into your YouTube channel. We'll be posting new stories for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This is Miss Brenda, and it's been great to do drama with you today. See you later, everybody. Bye now.